Next, we're still in Australia, but 2,000 miles south on the Yarra River, just outside Melbourne. Marine biologist Shanta Bali is joining ecologist Josh Griffiths in search of a very strange animal. An animal so unusual that when reports of its anatomy first emerged around 200 years ago, many were convinced it was a hoax. Described back then as a duck that was part beaver and which laid eggs, it's not hard to see why. They're here to find the duck-billed platypus. If you want to knock one of those it's difficult to, the to see them by day. They prefer to hunt at night. So Josh sets traps and will wait for nightfall in order to study them more closely. Josh has been researching platypus here for the past six years and is discovering just how perfectly adapted they are to hunt and survive in these creeks. If you had a good look at the rocks, you'd probably see some of the, the things that platypus are eating. Some of the insect larvae, small crustaceans, worms, and that's what they're looking for, little invertebrates like that. Platypus need to eat a third of their body weight in food every single night. That's an awful lot of larvae and worms to find in the dark. With the net in place, all they need to do now is wait. Surprisingly, platypus managed to find food in the dark in a very similar way to how sharks detect and hunt for their food. We know that they can detect the electrical impulses of animals moving underwater. So they, those tiny little insects that we saw this afternoon, their muscle contractions creates a minute electrical impulse. It must be absolutely tiny. It, it's tiny. It's something that a lot of our really sensitive equipment can't even pick up. <laughs> After waiting for six hours, finally the net moves. You got anything? I'll tell you what. Got something? I'll tell you what. There he is. <laughs> Most amazing thing. Well, he's holding on, isn't he? Yeah, they're really strong little creatures. And that is a little male. We finally got one. Josh quickly puts the platypus in a bag to make it feel safer. It helps calm it down and stops it from becoming stressed. Its size, weight and general health are recorded to monitor the population. It's also a unique opportunity to take a close look at its remarkable bill, which can detect electrical signals and which allows it to hunt so effectively. So he's just poked his bill out oh, of the, wow. the hole in the bag. Can it's I touch it? Yeah, it's, it's very different to what people expect. Oh my gosh. It's not hard like a duck's bill, it's actually quite soft to touch. Wow, it's so soft. You can see the little pores that are all through the bill. They're very fine. There's thousands of them yeah. across the bill. Around 40,000 tiny bumps speckle the bill. These are the receptors that detect minute electrical currents. Equipped with these, the platypus can pick out a single worm wriggling on a rock in a pitch black river. Astonishingly, when compared to the hammerhead shark, the platypus has more than 10 times as many electrical receptors. Okay. With Josh's checkup complete, it's time to return this supreme hunter back to the river. Let's let him get back to doing what he does best. Yeah. It's intriguing to see the bill of a wild platypus close up. But to see it in action, Shanta heads to observe a platypus in a much more controlled environment. Melbourne's Healesville Sanctuary is a haven for threatened Australian species, and it's also home to a female platypus called Yamakuna. So acrobatic. It's feeding time. On the menu today are bloodworms. Although only a few centimetres long and extremely thin, as with any living creature, the bloodworms are emitting tiny electrical signals. When Yamakuna detects those signals with her bill, she goes into hunting mode and without using her eyes or her hearing, lets her bill guide her to the prey. As Yamakuna swings her head from side to side, it's as though she's casting a 3D invisible net 
which picks up the electrical signals from the worms. Her bill is also detecting minuscule pressure waves produced by the wriggling. And as the intensity of those signals increases, Yamakuna knows exactly how close the worms are. A few minutes is all it takes to track, locate, and eat hundreds of worms. The comparison with sharks is fascinating. Both can detect electrical signals and pressure waves. But where a shark also uses vision to home in on its prey, the platypus can hunt in total darkness using only the receptors on its bill. How surprising then, an animal early explorers thought was part duck, part beaver, is actually one of the most technically advanced hunters on the planet.